Trump, NATO Secretary General meet, hold news conference. President Donald Trump said NATO is no longer obsolete, in a joint news conference with NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg after their first face-to-face -face meeting. I said it was obsolete, Mr. Trump said. It's no longer obsolete. President Trump is having his first face-to-face -face meeting Wednesday with NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg, and the two will be holding a brief news conference after their meeting. According to National Security Council officials, the two are discussing Russia and Syria, as well as Ukraine, and the fight against ISIS. Shortly before their news conference, AU. N. Security Council resolution calling for an investigation into the Syria chemical attack failed killed by a Russian veto. During his presidential campaign, Mr. Trump may have called NATO obsolete, but now senior National Security Council officials say that the president is 100% committed to NATO. Still, the matter of payment is sure to come up. The president has also persistently pushed for member countries to shoulder their fair share to the defense organization. Mr. Trump was expected to bring up the Wales Agreement, that NATO countries need to move to a 2% GDP defense spending goal. As Mr. Trump and Stoltenberg were meeting, a U. N. Resolution calling for an investigation into the Syria chemical attack last week failed after Russia used its veto. Follow along with our live blog of the news conference here. 4.34 p. M. The press conference has ended. 4.28 p. M. Stoltenberg said he wants to find a pragmatic working relationship with Russia, and that a strong Russia and a strong NATO do not have to be at odds. We have to try to find ways to live with them, to avoid a new Cold War and arms race. 4.15 p. M. Mr. Trump said, we may be at an all-time low in terms of relationship with Russia, indicating that as strong as Russia may be with Vladimir Putin in charge, the U. S. Is stronger. Russia is a strong country, Mr. Trump said. We're a very, very strong country. 409 p. M. Stoltenberg called his meeting with Mr. Trump excellent and very productive. 407 p. M. Mr. Trump, reading from his prepared remarks, says he will work closely with NATO allies to adapt to the challenges of the future, of which there will be many. Mr. Trump welcomed Montenegro as the 29th NATO member. 403 p. M. The press conference has begun. CBS News Louise Dufresne contributed to this report.